I'm giving you guys 10 minutes of pace before I fucking rip you to shreds. Let me tell you right now, I'm about to fucking emotionally destroy you. I'm rolling my sleeves up. I know my accent sounds a little funny today. Uh, I got in a Taekwondo accident this morning and someone kicked me in the esophagus, so I lost my accent, but should be back. 24 hours or so. Before we start, I would like to make a disclaimer. Although I'm a doctor, I'm not a licensed physician. Pretty much last night, I was sitting on my Alaskan bullworm leather couch, smoking a pipe before Robin smoked my pipe before bed. And I realized that you guys are the most fucked morally great chat I've ever come across. <sighs> So today we're gonna uh, do what I do best and that's donate to charity. You guys being the charity. Fucking big charity cases. We are a reflection of streamer. I, I fucking borrowed this streamer's room so that I could experience the lower class for a little bit. Mm. Lower income, never heard of it. You guys are fucked. There is just no gentle way to put it. How many hours in 2002 did you spend on Habbo Hotel? We love giving back to charity and that's why I'm here to um, mentally destroy you motherfuckers. My worm isn't performing properly and my BF is starting to notice. I have a, a few questions regarding this one. The thing is, is that this one could really be any of you guys in chat, like, and I'd probably believe it. You just don't get it, do you? You can't strangle a snake when the water hold is empty. The water hold is your heart. Robin over there has been, uh, she's been wine watering can for 42 years. She makes sure she sprays me with the water of life every night. My honey buns put down her little vampire smart book for the night. She's been sipping on her chamomile tea. It's been putting her in the right mood. Trust me. Chamomile tea. Vampire smart books. She rolls over. She gives you that look. <coughs> I was smoking too much pipe. Uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. Pull it up, it dries your sweater. Hello, streamer. I was playing the popular real-time strategy game Age of Empires 4 and I was being attacked constantly by horsemen and archers. My opponent placed a large fort outside of my gold mine, so I was unable to make knights to repel the attack. He left the game without complimenting my strategy because the player is a piece of shit. <coughs> yeah. Fuck me. Okay, let me get this straight, motherfucker. <laughs> you play a video game you got out of a cereal box. Question is screaming, absolutely fucking screaming for help, actually. I'm glad that you contacted me. I feel like the horsemen are a euphemism for eagles. Are they not? And the chopping of the wood is you servicing your sawmill. A very small, quiet sawmill, perhaps? Okay, I have two recommendations for you. Number one, delete your Twitter. I looked you up before the show. I've never seen anything quite like it. My second suggestion is start wearing a wife beater and a gold chain. When I first met my wife, I was walking down the street wearing a wife beater and a gold chain. The reflection of the gold chain actually caught her eye. 42 years later, we're still married. Delete the motherfucking Twitter and start wearing a gold chain. But ugh, don't wear it if you haven't got any chest hair. I have a serious addiction to porn and AOE, but mostly AOE. I often find I pleasure myself while attacking other players. A couple of correlations here. The common denominator being Age of Empires and having no bitches. They seem to go hand in hand. I don't think I have to say anything else. You give me vibes of someone that smells like hot dog water. Allow me to introduce myself, Mr. Bacon, a gentleman of notable lineage, though it pains me to confess, one whose life has not unfurled according to the expectations of our despite the many opportunities bestowed upon me by virtual life. I was alone, a bachelor of young age, being suitable for matrimony and professional achievement. To employ the pilots of our time, one might declare me a failure to launch. This monitoring phrase captures the essence of my predicament. I am not fortunate to take this marital alliance. Come have a seat, Bacon. You need to fucking bring it down a notch. Like, who the fuck do you think you are that you can say that many words in my presence? Shakespeare, Charles Dickens, Sarah J. Maas, some of the greatest writers of our generations. Hey, hypothetically, answer me this. If I left you in a room for five minutes with three feet of PVC pipe and a bottle of dish soap, what would you do with it? If he's in that room with the PVC pipe and then he sets a five minute timer and starts thinking of 1966 Tom Selleck. I'm gonna need to make some calls to the ranch, maybe. I mean, I can't blame him. Like, I, you see a nice piece of pipe? Categorize it for me. Oh, you would categorize it for material ordering. Okay. Never mind. I think I read all of that wrong. I can love going to Paris with Tom Selleck. Marvel 
Solitarian, how many times have you changed your username in the past mm, two months? If I recall correctly, I remember a history of you having uh, your sister try to crush the soft spot of your skull when you were a baby. Do you think that this, the, the username changes every few months and the, the crushing of the soft skull, the soft spot, do you think that these correlate at all? Exactly. Like I always say, you're not ugly, you're just poor. Hence why my fucking skin looks immaculate at 72. Baby's blood. Baby blood infusions. Marvel P sitting down. What do you think about that? I mean, in some situations like mine, my schlong is so long that I have to pee sitting down. If I was to try and piss standing up, it'd be like a motherfucking tripod. My, my pee pee would touch the water. I have to piss sitting down. I mean, if you try hard enough, anything can be lube. Oh, my luxury strip. Send her to the ranch. I saw my accountant working at a strip club and paid him for a night of lap dances and general debauchery. Now it's tax time and my wife and I need to book an appointment with him, but I don't want her to find out. This is quite common. Uh, when I say that probably two out of three people that come on my show have this exact problem. Two out of three. I recently signed something in parliament to assist with this issue. Please tell us about your writing process and like, and what inspires you. I'm going to answer both these questions with one, with one statement. But I'm going to tell you what I told my 13 year old daughter when her boyfriend left her standing at the front of the house on a rainy day before prom when she just got her perm done. Fresh perm. Fucking despicable piece of shit. Left her at the front. Fucked her perm up. You think the world owes you something. Honey, the world doesn't even know you exist. So until you're on my level, you'd better get used to being a hot dog with no bun. A hot dog with no bun. Or you two will be left at the front on prom night with a fresh fucking perm. No one picking you up. Does that answer your question, Supra, about the book that I wrote? <laughs> uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. We have a new submission! We have a new submission! I've been dating this girl recently and we've gotten to the meeting family stage. Turns out her sister is someone I hooked up with years ago yet acted as if we'd never met previously. I feel this is important to tell her but don't want to jeopardize our relationship please help. I'm gonna answer this question Hello, with a question. Robin! Robin? Fucking love you. Thank you for supporting me, baby girl. I'll wait to turn that sprinkler on later tonight. And this is a technique I picked up uh, when I was getting my PhD. This is a little technique I, I like to use when I have people in my actual personal clinic. We play a little game of Fuck, Mary Kill. An alien hybrid of Tom Selleck and Megan Trainer, Steve Bashibi, and the Jonas Brothers. But like all of the Jonas Brothers at once. Easy solution to the problem is to marry both of them like a real Texas man would do. Like an amen. Marry Steve, fuck Selleck, kill the Jonas Brothers. So you're committing triple homicide. That's interesting. Mm. You could have chosen to kill one person. Maybe do 20 years good behavior. You're choosing to triple homicide the Jonas Brothers. That actually makes a lot of sense from a Marvel-tarian to why you've changed your username so much recently. Okay, Runs. Can we just keep in mind what Runs just said? Runs just said, can't answer, I'm married. Now let's bring up the tapes from two days ago, right? We filmed this two days ago, and this is what he said. I have a sexual attraction to balloons. Mm. Now let's circle back to what you just said. I can't answer because I'm married. That's not me. Okay, now let's, let's, we also have something that we recorded from uh, three weeks ago. I have a timeout and ban kink. It's affecting my job. I need help. <laughs> Evidence after evidence. Runs' wife is actually with us in the crowd. I had her sitting at the back. Runs' wife, you want to come down here real quick? Keep your kinks locked up tight right in that watering hole. Lock him up, throw away the key. While I like to perv at e-girls and sub to 20 of their only fans, I also feel the need to enter chats and abuse them for being sinners and sluts and tell them to cover up. But deep down inside I don't want them to cover up. I'm just mad because I can get laid. I'm just mad because I can get laid? That is a lot to unpack. This person needs to seek out a higher power. No, I'm not talking Jesus or the Pope. I'm talking Keanu Reeves. That man could part me like the Red Sea. Keeping in mind that there is also nothing wrong with giving e-girls your money. In fact, I think everyone here, everybody look at the person left and right to you in the crowd. Everyone here should do that. So I'm gonna pass around the donation hat I want everyone to put a 50 in there. 
Chuck a fitty in there. Take that donation, chuck a fitty in there. Pass that shit around. There is nothing wrong with donating to e-girls, okay? Keep the economy going. The Y Foundation is open for business. There was a tiny break in between my ex-wife and my current wife. And I'm just going to say this once for the record. I did sleep with a Slovakian powerlifter. I did. Okay. I'm just saying that once. I got it off my chest. I feel better. Robin knows about it. She fucking loves that story. I tell it to her every night. Supra, you want to come have a seat and then we can discuss what you submitted? I want to keep pumping, but not in tandem with Osriel. Apparently I've reached my limit of text-to-speech without paying. <laughs> That's, it's not a fucking rented suit. I had this perfectly tailored to my shredded body this morning. This morning, post-workout, because I had a bit of a pump going on. And, you know, after a workout, I can't actually fit in my suits. I shaved using Jess's code. Regrowth is very itchy. That, that's a fucking compulsive lie. You're a piece of shit. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. You dumb whore. This one uh, was submitted anonymously. Fucking weak pussy. I'm in love with a female that could never love me back. I'm not really sure how to answer this one because I've never experienced that. Like I get 100% of the bitches that I approach, lines of them outside. But I would like to ask you guys who have um, this knowledge of what it's like to continuously get rejected. What do you guys have to say about this? You guys most likely experience this a couple of times a week when you're down at Coles buying your bananas. You know, you're putting your banana in the basket curved upwards to, to show that you're single still doesn't work no one wants to fuck with your shit because you play age of empires right so what is it like because i just personally can't relate with this one what is it like to be rejected by every every female that you approach why is your hair white but your mustache because i'm not fucking perfect quack all right my wife has never complained with the mustache right she doesn't give a shit what color my mustache is just as long as the roller coaster is still operating you know what i'm saying Dr. Phil really out here wearing eyeliner like you just had James Charles. I did. I actually just had James Charles here earlier. Uh, we took a really deep dive into a lot of really concerning issues with him. Mostly uh, the fact that he lies about having a BBL. We're actually having BBL week on my show where I'm just bringing in people that are lying about having BBLs. We're fucking booked out, man. We are booked out. And I stabbed him with a, with a fork in the ass. <laughs> Stab them with a fork in the ass just to test it out to prove that they're lying. Nine times out of ten, they don't feel a thing. Don't feel a thing. It's like fucking cement in that shit. I might need to ask you advice on my mother. I can squeeze you in. I've always got time for mother issues. I can squeeze you in. What is your question, Matt? I have an emotional dependence on the streams that interferes with my daily life. My relationships with other streamers. And the ability to... Oh, the ability to function in other people's chats. Who the fuck do you think you are? First of all, that should have stopped. I have a Jess White addiction. I have an emotional dependence on the stream. Full stop. My relationships with other streamers. Where in this course of your PhD studies did it say to attack a BBL with a fork on, my, on live television? Well, the thing when it comes to science, right, Supra? The thing when it comes to science is that a physical approach is best. So whoever asked me this question about uh, having a dependence on Jess Wyatt, who I think is the like the poor chick that lives here, like literally poor, lower class. My answer is don't watch other streamers. Like what the fuck type of question is that? Who has a PhD here? Raise your hand. That's what I fucking thought. Your, your ass is fake, man. I see you on TikTok posting glute workouts. How to grow your glutes in three weeks. You got a motherfucking BBL. UK where we do things proper. Okay, well, first of all, Boris is a very good friend of mine. When I went to his uh, his birthday last week and we did the little key swap. Great guy. Fucking great guy. I'm not, I'm not wearing pants. I'm in a motherfucking Zoom meeting. I didn't think I had to wear pants. Robin's under the desk right now. Guy sees stream. Guy. Yes, a hot e-girl to fall in love with. Also, Jess, hi, here is my Dr. Phil cosplay. Anyway, as I was saying, it's 2024 and it is not wrong for your honey to come a knocking at the back door. And because she's been reading vampire books, she knows she has to knock, otherwise she can't enter. If you can't take it, then you can't give it dr phil was showing a little something just then you know when the mustache wiggles it's time to act up yeah sometimes i know my wife doesn't even have to have a chamomile tea doesn't even have to have a chamomile tea and a vampire smut book i just gotta do a little sometimes when she's sitting in the audience i just kind of look over to you runs first of all been very quiet since i brought up the balloon incident
If he pulled out two tea bags after saying that, I would have came. We had a couple of new submissions. Why do people run from me? I'm just gonna tell you right now that you probably need to invest in a good cologne. I put on my good suit today. I had it perfectly tailored to my toned body. At the bottoms of my mustache to resemble Ned Flanders. And you had the audacity to disrespect me inside my 14 million dollar mansion that I built from the ground up. After a small loan of a million dollars, I built it from the ground up. I have no choice but to send you to the rants because you've made about 52 submissions. You use Dior Sauvage. You and every second man inside of a club. I'm just going to recommend that you immediately stop doing that. There is only one cologne that men of uh, nice rich suits wear and that is Old Spice. Does the ranch exist anymore? I mean the ranch was investigated by the FBI. They did find a few crops of weed out the back. I don't know how it got there. I bought it like that, so I they weren't mine. Birds don't have piss holes. I will fucking destroy you.